Hello student, in the manufacturing technology, we have been going through the forming and shaping processes. So in forming and shaping processes, our purpose is to change the shape of metal or any component, right? So in any process, under category of forming and shaping, any component will undergo the shape change. So we have discussed the rolling process as well as forging process, right? So in both the processes, shape will change, right? With help of application of pressure. So in today's session, we are going to start our discussion on another process that is nothing but extrusion process. So in extrusion process, shape will change, right? So this process is known as an extrusion process and this process comes under category of forming and shaping process, process because shape will change in extrusion process right so let us start our discussion on extrusion process that is under category of forming and shaping process so here i mentioned the important point regarding the extrusion process that is the definition of extrusion process and how extrusion process will occur so in extrusion process, our purpose is to make flow of our material under application of force through some small diameter that is known as a die, right? So in extrusion process, our purpose is to make the component under application of force and here I mention the important example of extrusion process so let me explain the best example of extrusion process that is nothing but toothpaste coming out from the nozzle right so we are using the toothpaste so in the toothpaste what happens so in a toothpaste body it is having a large diameter in which toothpaste is filled right so when we give the force or when we push the body of the toothpaste plastic what happens it is coming out from the small diameter nozzle, right? So toothpaste is coming out from the small diameter nozzle. This is the best example for the extrusion. It means when we apply the force, the paste is coming out according to the small diameter nozzle. So this is the example for the extrusion process because here paste is coming out from the nozzle that is the small diameter nozzle so as per our discussion extrusion is a process in which your material is coming out from the die right so with application of force you can reshape your metal that is coming out through the small diameter that is known as a die right so when we apply the force the paste is coming out from the small diameter nozzle and that is the example of extrusion. So here I mentioned the two types of extrusion that is a direct extrusion and indirect extrusion, right? So what happens in direct extrusion and what happens in indirect extrusion? Let us start our discussion on types of extrusion process, right? So here as per our discussion, direct extrusion and indirect extrusions are two types of extrusions right so here i mentioned the concept for extrusion before starting the classification that is direct and indirect so here i mentioned the principal figure or image for the extrusion process so what is the principle of extrusion here i mentioned the extrusion principle so when we apply the force our material will be coming out through the die that is nothing but a different geometry small diameter opening for example here i mentioned our billet or row material that is forcing towards the die and from the die opening our material is coming out right so our final object will be coming out from the die opening so as per our requirement and as per our requirement of shape we can design the die so here as mentioned from the die our material will be coming out right so die is nothing but it is according to our replica of our object so die is designed according to our 
product requirement. So it is nothing but replica or image of our product, right? So when we apply the force, our final material will be flown through the die that is according to our requirement. So this is the principle for extrusion process, right? So after principle of extrusion, here I mentioned the video for extrusion process. So let's have a look on video of extrusion process. So as per our discussion, what happens in extrusion process? In extrusion process, material is coming out from the die and according to the die shape, our final product will be ready. So here, as mentioned, our material will be flowing through the die and final object will be according to die opening. So aluminum section and aluminum framing and aluminum product can be made with help of the extrusion process. So as mentioned here, aluminum section can be drawn and can be extruded through the die. So this process is known as an extrusion process, right? So here, let us start our classification of extrusion process. First one I mentioned is the direct extrusion. So as per the name, what happens in direct extrusion? In direct extrusion, as per the name, here we apply the force to our heated metal that is also known as a billet. So billet is nothing but a raw material for our product, right? So when we apply the force to our heated billet, what happens? Our material will be forcing towards the die and die is nothing but it is the opening through which our metal will be flowing out, right? So die can be designed according to our final product requirement. So when we apply the force to our heated metal, what happens? Our material will come out as per our die opening, right? So when our application of force or when our direction of force is the same as our material direction or our product outward direction, it is known as a direct extrusion. Once again, I repeat when our direction of outlet metal flow is same as our applied force direction it is known as a direct extrusion in simple words if we apply the force in the direction of metal flowing it is known as a direct extrusion right so it is very simple type of extrusion in which both directions are same what happens in indirect extrusion? As per the name, in the indirect extrusion, if we apply the force towards this direction, our matter will flow in reverse or opposite direction. This is known as an indirect extrusion. Once again, I repeat, when we apply the force towards right side, then our matter will flow towards left. This is known as an indirect extrusion. So in simple words, when our ram or plunger is moving towards right direction or towards right side, what happens? Our metal will flow in left direction and this is known as an indirect extrusion process, right? So in extrusion process, material will flow through the die but according to direction of travel of material relative applied force it will be classified as a direct and indirect extrusion process, right? So after direct and indirect extrusion process, let us start our discussion on different parameters of extrusion process. So as per our discussion, in extrusion process, our purpose is to flow to make flow our material through the die right so usually die is nothing but it is a small diameter opening so here i mentioned the characteristic figure for extrusion process so in extrusion process when we apply the force our material will be flowing through small cross section diameter right so here I mentioned one important term and that is nothing but extrusion ratio. So it is nothing but ratio of cross section area that is 
initial cross section area and our final cross section area so extrusion ratio is defined as ratio of cross section or initial cross section to the final product cross section right so it is known as a extrusion ratio so after extrusion ratio here i mention the one important parameter that is extrusion die angle right so what is extrusion die angle extrusion die angle is nothing but it is the angle of the die through which our material will be flowing right so this angle is very important what happens when this angle is very low or for example when this die angle is exactly zero what happens when die angle is zero our material will be in contact of die in larger surface area so what happens when contact surface area is larger what happens friction will be very large so the required force to the metal will be higher due to larger contact area right so when die angle is sufficient what happens the required force will be lower so die angle is very important parameter once again i repeat by choosing the die angle from 0 to certain degree you can reduce the force requirement it means the required force for flowing the metal or drawing the metal will be lower so die angle is very important parameter so here i mention the main point regarding the die angle and importance of die angle right so here i also mentioned the variation of force with the die angle right so at certain die angle force requirement is optimum or same minimum so as per the graph we have to choose the optimum die angle for minimum force requirement in extrusion right so die angle is very important in extrusion process so after direct and indirect extrusion here i mention the hydrostatic extrusion process so what happens in hydrostatic extrusion process as per the name hydrostatic extrusion here fluid is used right so in extrusion process our purpose is to make flow over metal through the die so what happens we apply the ram or plunger and we apply the force directly to the billet or our heated material when we apply the force to the ram it will apply the force to the fluid and fluid will be in contact to our billet or row material so here ram or plunger is not directly in contact with our row material or heated billet here fluid is available in between the ram and your heated material or billet right so when we apply the ram or when we apply the force to the ram it will apply the force to the fluid and the same force will be transferred in all the directions to the billet that's why it is known as a hydrostatic extrusion right so here one thing is added and that is medium of fluid right so everything remains same our purpose will also same here our purpose in hydrostatic extrusion is also same right to extrude the metal or to make flow over metal through the die right so this is all about different extrusion processes thank you all of you